All right, so our goal today is for me to get from my house in Fairfield Harbor to our studios on Glen Burnie in New Bern. Uh, it's normally about a 22 minute drive, it's 13 miles. We'll see how that goes today. I already know the roads are covered. We don't have plows back here. So we're going to document the process from here to the station. We'll see how that goes. But first, we need to get all the snow and ice off of the vehicle. Already sliding around and haven't even made it a block. All right, so we're on Broad Creek Road. We're gonna follow this for about six miles. The speed limit here on Broad Creek Road is 45. We're only doing about 25. You can kind of look ahead and see where other motorists may have had trouble. So if you see tire tracks going off of the road into the ditch, that's kind of an indication right there that the uh, road may have an icy patch right there. So we're coming up on the stoplight here on Broad Creek Road and Highway 55. You always want to let the car kind of come to a stop for you and apply gradual pressure to the brakes. You don't want to get there at the last second and then slam on the brakes. We're on Highway 55 now. The road looks a lot better than Broad Creek, but looks can be deceiving. So even though we can see pavement now, that doesn't mean that there's not ice underneath. Now we're coming up the crest here on uh, the Noose River Bridge. The important thing to keep in mind is you don't want to hit your brakes going up the incline. You're going to lose your momentum and your wheels are going to spin. Your car is going to go backwards. And you can see here the Cunningham Bridge is still covered. Doesn't look quite as good as the Noose River Bridge. We made it to Oaks Road. We're doing a little slip and sliding, but we're almost to the station. All right, so we made it in 39 minutes and 30 seconds. And remember I said it normally takes 22 minutes on a normal day. You don't need me to tell you to stay off of the roads, but if you are gonna go out, just remember don't get too overconfident and don't panic because that's where the real danger lies.